People around the world have had more than 24 hours now to take in what happened yesterday in Paris. Many are reacting with shock and outrage, but in France's capital, there is simply grief. John Lennon's World Peace Anthem, Imagine, ringing out from the steps of the deadliest assault as vigils emerge at many sites along with solidarity. We have full coverage tonight of the aftermath of the attacks, including Jeff Semple from Paris on the mood of the city. But first, Candace Daniel. She has the latest on the investigation. This is where the worst of the Paris massacre ended. At the Bataclan Theater during a Friday night rock concert, three gunmen strapped with explosives burst into the building and opened fire. Multiple coordinated attacks in the heart of the city. Sébastien witnessed the attack on Rue de Charonne, where 18 people were killed. He says at first he didn't realize what was happening, but only afterwards you start to get the whole picture and realize that on the other side of the terrace, it's just a massacre. In total, more than 120 people killed, hundreds more injured. Officials say the death toll could very well rise in France's worst terrorist attack. Je leur dis, craignez Allah, craignez votre Seigneur. ISIS is claiming responsibility. A warning issued by Abu Salman, an ISIS militant born in France. La France. French President Françoise Hollande told the world that the attacks were an act of war and that France will be merciless against the barbarians of ISIS. It will act with all the means within the law, with all the means necessary. Police say the shooters and the bombers are dead, but the border remains sealed and security tight. Tourists feeling the grip of France's national state of security. We never thought uh, this would happen. We just came for, uh, for a tourist trip. And now, the blood of the victims washed away. The Eiffel Tower closed. Friends and family weep. Their worst fears confirmed. And le tricolore mournful as it's lowered to half-mast at the Champs-Élysées. Paris, a city in sorrow. French officials have identified one of the attackers by a fingerprint found at the scene and have confirmed that he was indeed a French national. And there are also reports emerging that Syrian and Egyptian passports were found on the bodies of some of the attackers. Candace Daniel, Global News.